In this video, we're going to continue on with finding slope from an equation worksheet on the CUDA software website, and I'll leave a link in the description below so you know how to access this worksheet. Our directions are to find the slope of each line. Our goal is to get that equation in the form of y equals mx plus b, which is slope intercept form. So picking back up with number 8, we have 4x plus 5y equals negative 10. We're going to start by subtracting 4x from both sides because we want to isolate this y. Doing this, we'll get 5y equals negative 4x plus a negative 10. Now we're going to divide by 5 on both sides. So we'll get that y on the left hand side is equal to negative 4x over 5 plus negative 10 over 5. So that's negative 4x over 5, which is the same as negative 4 fifths x, plus negative 10 over 5. We can simplify this more. However, we're already in slope intercept form, and we can see that our slope m is negative 4 fifths. So negative 4 fifths is the answer for number 8. In number 9, we're going to subtract x from both sides to get that negative y is equal to negative x plus negative 2. Now this y has a coefficient of negative 1 and we want the coefficient to be a positive 1. So in order to do that or get rid of the negative, we're going to multiply both sides by negative 1. When we multiply the right side by negative 1, we're going to need to distribute that to the x and to the negative 2. So on the left hand side we'll have a positive y and on the right we'll have a positive x plus a positive 2. Since negative 1 times negative x is a positive x and negative 1 times negative 2 is a positive 2. So since y equals x plus 2, x is the same as 1 times x, so our slope is 1. In number 10, 4x minus 3y equals 9. Start by subtracting 4x from both sides. Then we'll have negative 3y equals negative 4x plus 9. Divide both sides by negative 3 to get that y is equal to negative 4x over negative 3, which is the same as 4 thirds x plus 9 over negative 3, which is a negative 3. Now that this looks like y equals mx plus b, our m is 4 over 3. So our slope for number 10 is 4 thirds. In number 11, we're going to subtract 3x from both sides. We'll have 2y equal to negative 3x plus 6. Then we'll divide by a positive 2. So we'll have y equal to negative 3 times x over 2, which is negative 3 halves x, plus 6 over 2, which is 3. Now that it's in slope-intercept form, you can see that the slope is equal to negative 3 halves for number 11. In number 12, we have 4x minus 5y equals 0. Let's start by subtracting 4x from both sides. When we do that, we'll have negative 5y equal to negative 4x plus 0, which is simply negative 4x. Then, divide both sides by negative 5. And doing this, we'll have y isolated on the left side of the equation, and that's going to be equal to negative 4x over negative 5, which is the same as positive 4 fifths x. Now the equation's in slope-intercept form because the b is simply 0, so that means our slope is a positive 4 fifths. Let's move on to number 13. In 13, we have y equals negative 1. This is already in slope-intercept form. You could rewrite this if you wanted to as y equals 0x 
plus negative 1. So our B is at negative 1, and our M, since there's not an X in this equation, our M would be 0. So the slope for Y equals negative 1 is 0. You can also think if Y is equal to negative 1 on our graph, we would just have a horizontal line. And we know that whenever there's a horizontal line, the slope is equal to 0. In number 14, we have x plus 5y equal to negative 15. Subtract x from both sides, so you get that 5y equals a negative x plus a negative 15. Then we're going to divide both sides by 5 in order to isolate that y, and that's going to be equal to negative x over 5, which is negative 1 fifth times x plus negative 15 over 5 is a negative 3. We can see that our slope is negative 1 fifth for number 14. And I'll do one more problem, number 15, and then I'll stop there. And in the next video, we'll do number 16 through 22. But before I do the answer to this, please go ahead, give a thumbs up on this video, and when it's over, subscribe to my channel. So for number 15, we have negative 2y minus 10 plus 2x equals 0. Our goal is still to isolate the y so that we're in slope-intercept form. But instead of moving all of this to the other side, let's just move the y to the other side. So we're going to add 2y to both sides. So negative 2y plus 2y will be 0, so we'll le be left with negative 10 plus 2x on the left, and that's equal to a positive 2y on the right. Then divide both sides by positive 2 in order to isolate that y, and you'll get that negative 10 over 2, so that's going to be negative 5 plus 2x over 2, so that's the same as 1x, which is x, and that's going to be equal to a positive y. So if you want to change the order, we can flip this and have y equal to x plus negative 5. So you can see that our slope for number 15 is a positive 1, because 1 times x is x. And also, as a reminder, if you have any questions, please feel free to comment below, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can.